are back with another fun event today. It's after hours. Woo -woo! I'm a little bummed though because we just got in and it's like exactly seven o'clock, which is when you're allowed to come in if you don't have a day pass or annual pass. So we are trying to experience it as if you just have that. But I'm really bummed because you used to get like this really cool after hours lanyard and now they don't do that anymore. And I'm really bummed because I really wanted that cool lanyard. It was really nice. Everyone, when we were checking in, was asking, where's the lanyard? Because now they just give you a lame yellow wristband. I but want that say after hours on yeah, it. Yeah, it's really lame. So like, why I, if you're coming tonight. <laughs> I'm really bummed. Because that lanyard was really nice, and it was like, official, and like, I was really upset. Now you just have to get like a lame flyer. Dad! Well, yeah. Over here, seven o'clock. Ready to party. So this is everything we're able to do today. Our event is from nine to 12, but you're allowed in starting at seven. So we are in and ready. We're gonna probably do a loop around of all the rides that probably don't have a wait. And we're attempting to see how many rides we can get done tonight. So I think we're gonna start with that before the event starts, and then we'll do the big ticket events. First stop, Monster Zinc. Our goal in these first two hours is to do the rides that are closed during the party, so that way we can see how many things we get done. Let go. Get up and dance. mover because there's no weight trying to get stuff that doesn't have a weight right now. Monster Zinc ate up a big chunk of time so we're not gonna do the shows because they, they're just too long. We were gonna do carousel and presidents but there's never a weight for them anyway so it just takes up too much time. So we jumped on people mover because that is considered in the in the list there's zero weight to rock it right up. If your future includes shopping, at the Tomorrowland Speedway, put the pedal to the metal and spin towards the checkered flag in your very own race car. Hey, Cheeto Face. Who's the Cheeto Face? To confirm your flight. Cheeto Face. Cheeto Face. <laughs> Those were my Cheetos. BTW. <laughs> Space Mountain is down right now. All the lights are on. Hopefully it comes back up when it's time for the party. Next ride are the teacups. Only a five minute wait, so we're jumping on. Walked right on. Saved us some time. We did three rides so far before the party started. Let go. Heading back to Storybook Circus because all the rides only have a five to ten minute wait. First ride, Dumbo. Ten minutes. Let's see. Dumbo. Maybe this time Chris will know how to fly Dumbo. Ride five, Barnstormer. Sit on, don't you? Is it fun? Yeah, it's fun. It was a lot of fun. So we're sitting here waiting for Bradley to use the potty, and we all stopped. They were giving out free cake pops. The red velvet. All three of us got them. 
I got a purple one, and me and Dad got the chocolate one. So here Off we go. to a good start, yeah! We still have 20 minutes before the party officially starts. We already did five rides and got a free snack. So the girl from Big Top Souvenir is just walking around with a gigantic thing of free snacks. I guess if they have leftover at the end of the night, they just walk around and hand them out. She had a lot. We got the red velvet Mickey Pops. She had like another three baskets full of goodies. It's super nice that they they don't just throw them out and that they give them out. It's re that's really nice. Ride number six, Under the Sea. The seashells were waiting for us. The five minute wait was the cue. That's what. Hi, Brad. Wave. You want to think of a box? I got 20. for our first ice cream. Woo -woo! All novelty ice cream, popcorn, and bottled drinks are included. So we made our first stop. I got a bottle of water and a Mickey bar. First Mickey bar. And with that stop to get theirs. Woo -hoo! Party just started like five minutes ago. It's only a 15 minute wait. This is number seven. It said 15 minutes, but was a legit walk on. Number eight, Winnie the Pooh. Another walk straight on. That's TT's favorite. Hi, Eeyore. I haven't done this line in about four years, probably. Nana! Say hi, Nana! About 9.45 and this is what the park is looking like. Starting to clear out all the day guests. It's empty and now we are heading on Small World. Ride number 11, Small World. All right, are you gonna sing? This is all you've been singing lately. Are you gonna sing? All right, let me hear you sing.
made it. Where are we going? What are we going to say? Say the hitchhiking ghost. Move on back. Another stop. Got the sandwich and a bottle of water. Got 12. 13 minute wait, which means walk on. Since we're here late night, we got some construction going on on the river. Never saw the front room so empty. Kindly step all the way and consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. It's so nice to be able to walk out of the stretch room and not have to fight to get online. We are about to head on to our 13th slash 14th ride. Me and Chris are gonna go do Splash. Since Bradley can't, they're gonna go head over and do Country Bears. So, I don't know how to count that, but yeah. my first stop for popcorn. I've gotten three bottles of water, two ice creams, and now one popcorn. First popcorn, mm -hmm. and it's the Halloween party. It's an empty house. We're in the front row. Front row, right, Brindley? You gotta see the bears up there. Howdy, folks. Howdy. Howdy. Ride 13, Splash Mountain. Five minute wait, aka probably walking through the queue. Scrape ice, but that's not included. So I think the only things included are the premium bar, the Mickey ice cream sandwich, the Olaf bar, and the strawberry bar. So can't get the scrapey ice. Womp womp. So we're over at Adventureland, and this is what the crowd levels look like. You only see like a family or two hanging around. It's awesome. All right, ride number 15. Another walk on. Are we gonna go flying? Yeah, are you gonna make us go high or low? Hi! Hi! Alright, hi everyone! Hi! <laughs> hands up, hands up, hands up! Woo! Woo! Look at Bradley go! <laughs> Ride 16. Bradley are staying at Adventureland and doing Tiki and Jungle. Me and Kristen are heading back to Tomorrowland. Okay. Space is back up, it's been down. Ash Orbiter, and if we have time, Buzz. Castle is looking beautiful with very little people. And they have a photo pass person to get that empty castle shot. Heading back into Tomorrowland to do the last few rides of the night. Stop Astro. Anymore because my bag is kind of crushing it. Oh, okay. This is good enough for me. Next up, butts. Joystick to save. Did 
can't even come close to Galactic Hero. I can't even find my my thing. So uh, I'm really mad that the kid jumped out the last time, so I couldn't show my over 900,000 car. 11:55. Everyone's getting their last drinks and snacks of the event. Last stop for snacks. It's exactly 12. Got a popcorn, a Coke because I feel a migraine coming on, and there's no Coke Zeros. And an Olaf bar. I've never tried it before. So excited. So I hit my 10 drinks slash snacks. Golden. Only 12.08. Party ended at 12, and they're still letting people on this line. I guess they don't have a way of closing it until the last person goes, but. Mom just got over here, so she jumped online for her and dad. So the chocolate covered bananas was also included. I didn't mention that before. So mom got her chocolate banana. 12.15 and the line is still growing. They're not stopping you. So mom got back online. We're going to split a premium bar. Because I did not like the Olaf bar. It was disgusting. I got flavor. I'm glad I didn't pay for it, because I would have been very angry if I did, because it was gross. <laughs> Leaving the event, and we're talking about our reviews, Mama. Um, What'd you think? I liked it. I like. I liked how empty it was. That you just felt like you weren't like everybody was all on top of you. So it was really nice. So it's so nice and empty. You walk around. Um, is it worth the price of a ticket? It is if you're only here for a short amount of time, like a five day or a seven day, because then you. You knocked out Magic Kingdom in, in a oh, day. Easily, yeah. It, it, you got in everything wow. because you was everything was a walk on. But if you're here for a longer time, you're you really don't need it because you. Well, I got 17 days. We didn't really need it. It was nice to experience the emptiness of the park and and believe me, I can't eat <laughs> uh, five of Mickey Mouse bars no. and. And popcorn, and I can. It just, uh, I, I, that's insane. So, um, but for the most part, I think it, uh, I think it's worth it if you're if you're on a short vacation. I loved it. I thought it was awesome. Got everything done. Wish it was a little bit longer, but like so that way you're not running around like we were. But we did everything we wanted to do. I had my, my 10 things, snacks, drinks that I wanted to get, got that. We hit 18 rides total. That was starting at seven o'clock. We did good. I enjoyed it. We got it cheaper because we were annual pass holders, so I think it was like 80-ish. Oh right, what it actually was. Now how much was so we got it cheaper. So that was even more worth it. It's literally empty right now. Monorail is closed, so you either have to take the bus or the boat. So we are heading to the boat it is here. Hopefully we catch it. And just like that, another day has come to an end. It was an eventful day. We did food and wine for the first day. This morning slash afternoon, took a midday break at the Poly for a few, and then headed to Magic Kingdom for the after hours party. We did a lot today. Woohoo! And now it's one o'clock in the morning and I'm tired. I need my sweatpants ASAP. Ugh. Worth it though. Double goodness. It was a good day, we did a lot. But of course it was the hottest day that we've had. And it still wasn't like horribly, 
it was pretty hot. But it wasn't like, oh my god, August hot, if that makes sense. I don't know. If we would have gotten the day that we had last night, that would have been perfect because like, I was freezing, could have worn my jacket. I love to be in my sweats. But what you gotta do? Bit of sweaty mess all day, it's all right. But we are trying to find our car now, which luckily there's not many cars in the parking lot, so it's easy to find. And with that, I'm gonna leave you there and I'll say good night, everyone.